Today, we'll dive into how to combine HD and pixel perfect objects in Godot 4 by taking you through a real example from Catal, the game I'm currently developing. In Catal, we are using a stretch mode of canvas items for better UI and more precise character movement. However, we want some elements in the world to be pixel perfect. One example would be this lightning effect, which uses line 2D to render the electricity. Seeing it like this, it looks awful and completely out of place in the world. What we want is a way to combine elements of both types in the game. Originally, I found this video by Plug World that explained how to solve this in Godot 3, and I had to adjust it slightly for Godot 4 and expand on it for some use cases that were important for my game, but I think some of the solutions are useful for other cases as well. First, in your world, create a canvas layer called Pixel Perfect Layer. Set the layer as needed to be able to see it above or under other layers you may be using. Add a subviewport as a child and set the size of your project's resolution. Select Transparent Background. In Canvas Items, set the default texture filter to nearest. In the subviewport, create a camera 2D node and make it share the same properties as your main camera. As an example, I use limit smoothing and camera smoothing, so I set the same settings I use in my main camera. In the canvas layer, add a texture rec node, call it viewport texture and set its anchoring to full rec to fill in the screen. As its texture, select the subviewport you just created. In the pixel perfect layer, create a script. Create two export variables to hold the main camera and the pixel perfect camera you just created. Create a variable to hold a reference to the subviewport. On ready, get all elements in the PP group and reparent them to the subviewport. This boolean will ensure the node's transform keeps its original position. On process, set the pixel perfect camera's transform to follow the main camera and sync all of the values that are changed during runtime so they match. In my case, I need to sync the limits between cameras to ensure my pixel perfect camera doesn't leave the area I want visible. This will largely depend on how your project is set up. Set the two cameras in the pixel perfect layer. Go to the objects you want displayed in the pixel perfect layer and add them to the PP group. In my case, I'll set the line 2D effect of these poles and the spark particles they emit. I'll also set it to the particles that the blood emits so they look crunchier in game. In this step, it's important you only set the visual elements to that layer. If you set the whole object, physics items such as collision shapes will stop working since now they're in a different world. I'm not really sure how to have two different worlds that share the same physics space but render on different canvases. If anyone knows, please let me know as this would make the process much easier in terms of group management. And we're done. However, it's important to know that this will only work for objects that are available from the start of runtime, as they're already in the PP group. So what about the objects that are spawned during runtime, such as projectiles or effects? In my game, I have bullets that are spawned periodically, but since they are not available during ready, they aren't reparented. To fix this, I created a signal in my events bus autoload to request these objects to be added to a group. Upon instantiating these objects, we emit the signal. Go back to the pixel perfect layer and connect the signal to a function that repairs them when the signal is received. These items should be in export variables to be able to hold the reference to them even after reparenting them. One important thing to note is that if those objects change their position during runtime, they will still have to follow the original parent, not their current parent, which is the subviewport. To fix this, we can add a remote transform 2D node to update its global position and ensure we kill the particles when the original parent is killed. Thanks for watching and let me know if you have any other topics you'd like me to cover.